Hi everyone, it's Renee, and this is my video response to Cincy Erica's 100 Subbies Challenge Giveaway. Um, you had to be a subby to participate, and it was open to everyone. So the challenge was to alter a canvas. Um, it, you had to use metal, use flowers, and it could be any size canvas. So here's my canvas. And I started off with um, this, I drew it out on the paper, and I don't normally do my stuff like that, but for some reason it worked with this, so I knew where I was going with it. So, first I drew this metal dress form on, and I used this um, peel and sketch charcoal pencil, and because they don't dry or they're powdery or whatever I decided to go with that and I um, smudged all the lines to give it like a softer look then I put on this uh, it's I really forgot what it's called um, it's a pat pattern paper and this was my pattern I got it for a quarter at my local St. Vincent de Paul and I don't have Mod Podge so I used this Aileen's tacky glue and I added water to it and watered it down and I painted it all on with a paintbrush and then put my my pattern paper on and went over it again and it dried fairly quickly and now it's hard on there it's not coming off Oops. and for my metal, I have this um, key that came from Michael's, and it was one of the dollar keys, but actually I got it for a penny. And then I have this little, um, it looks like a spool of thread, and it came on this package of ribbon. It was up here, and I just sewed those on with some white string that actually came off of this um, baker's twine from Target. It was in the dollar bins and I mean for baker's twine this is awful but it worked for what I wanted it to and whenever I cut it it all started to unravel like the white came off so then I just used the red and I stitched this and I don't know what the what the stitch I used is called or anything like that but I stitched these on and then I sewed on the rest with the white so there's two pieces of white on the key a little bit on the spool and then I made these buttons with um, stamps that I got from the uh, card making magazine it came with this and then a set of stamps so there's a, a dress form, a pair of scissors, and a, a ruler. And I just, um, I used glossy accents so they're smooth and shiny. And I sewed those on with the white twine. Then I have my, my flower is down here. It's one of these, I don't know, it's almost velvety and it has a sticky back to it and I'm not sure I think it came with a couple um, couple buttons and then in my in my behind my flower I have these two stick pins and they're just stuck down in behind there held on with the the sticky back and then I have some tiny tiny brads here here and here Oops, sorry and two more brads here that have um, jewel they're medium jewel brads in this dark brown color and then over the whole canvas I used this Mr. Huey's in classic tan 
and I just sprayed it on a piece of plastic and then I used a toothbrush and I just flipped it all over it to give it like a an age looked age look so there is my canvas I really enjoyed doing it I'm glad I don't have to send it into her because I really want to keep this one so thank you for watching <laughs>